If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I got asked the question, hey Adana, um, I applied to all of these schools now, like what do I do while I wait, right? So for those of you that may be in this situation or you will be in this situation in the near future, this video is for you. You've applied, right? You've applied to your seven schools, your five schools, your one school, your three schools, how many ever schools you've applied to. You've applied to PA school, and now what? If you have applied to PA school and now you're just waiting and that waiting process is excruciating, trust me, I know, I remember, you really have to continue on with your life. It's different depending on what stage of life you're in. So like, let's say you are straight out of undergrad uh, and you don't really have like a job or anything like that yet or your job is ending because it was kind of like a school type job, then go find a job in a field that is really geared towards getting into PA school. Also, um, you can always, always, always better yourself. Like, so now if you have like a 4.0 GPA or whatever, okay, great, good for you. More power to you, I'm happy for you. But if there are some classes that, um, some prerequisite classes that you were kind of lacking in, go ahead and retake those classes. Do it in the summer, do it in the fall, uh, even do it in the spring. I know there are some spring slash winter courses that are a little bit shorter than and the fall classes. So kind of look into that, make sure that you're able to just kind of better yourself in that respect because if you don't get in, God forbid, then you've already knocked out like one or two courses that you would have been trying to take in the summer. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is hey, you apply to PA school, you're waiting to hear back for interviews, and you kind of just do nothing. You kind of just go on with your daily life in terms of, I'm gonna sit up here and I'm gonna go to work and you know I'm gonna take care of my kids or I'm gonna go have some fun, whatever it is, but you are not really making steps to better yourself as a PA candidate, and you're just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting, and then you look up and six months, seven months has passed by, and you still haven't gotten an invitation to interview and the school will be starting in like five months or so and you're like oh, okay like f i don't know if i'm going to get into this school and that is like that's the worst feeling ever that you you've sat here and you've wasted seven months that you could have been actually like taking courses to better yourself to now say hey look i know i applied last year i wasn't the best candidate that I could be, but this year, look at what I've done. Look at what I've done in the interim. So be mindful of that. Schools are looking at that, especially if you're a reapplicant. I know a few people that were reapplicants to like the same school and got in on the second time. So that's like very, like you have to be mindful of those things because it's important that you show growth. So definitely don't be stagnant, don't be complacent, take more courses, look for volunteering experience, go out wherever the case may be, be it a hospital or an office space, say, hey, can I shadow your PA? Um, is there anything that I can do to volunteer? Go apply to the hospital to be a volunteer because they look at that as well. And you know, the relationships that you make in that hospital as a volunteer or as you're shadowing, if you've shadowed there for you know quite a few hours, then those relationships will be kind of they'll grow and they'll carry you through PA school. And you know, they'll remember that when you get out of PA school and you're like looking for a job and you're trying to apply to a job at that same hospital. They'll be like, oh, that was the girl or the guy that volunteered and was amazing. They were so helpful. They did this, that, and the other. Um, I make sure that I kind of like build those bridges in what I did prior to PA school, and I I continue to keep those contacts. So anyone that I spoke to, like I'll reach out like mid year, like I did. Um, the mid of my didactic year and I'm gonna do it again probably in August or so and just be like hey you know thank you again for allowing me to rotate with you or thank you again for allowing me to do this I really appreciate it that um, it's helped me so much as I've gone through my PA schooling thus far and um, I cannot wait to 
you know, continue to put into practice what I saw and I learned under your tutelage. That, I mean, honestly, just those few words alone, that is like great to somebody that took their time to like help you and help, you know, allow you to shadow with them. So those are things that you have to do. You have to make sure that you maintain those bridges, make maintain those relationships so that when you get out, that's something that you can stand on, you know? So definitely do those three things while you're waiting to hear back. Don't be complacent. Definitely, definitely look for a job um, or look for a more volunteering slash work experience, healthcare experience, and also go to school. Like better your GPA if you need to, or better your GRE if you need to, um, because those things are what schools are looking at in the future, especially if you're going to be a reapplicant. So that's it. I hope you guys um, kind of like just take this uh, with a grain of salt and really look at it because um, not everybody can just has the time to do all of these different things that I've addressed. But even if you do one and you better yourself in one of those areas, that is going to be better than doing nothing. If you have any other questions, leave that in the comment section below. If you have any other video ideas, please go ahead and drop them. I love hearing from you guys and I love making these videos for you guys. So sometimes I run out of ideas, but you guys gave me some great, great stuff. So please, please, please leave your ideas in the comment section below as well. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!